Let's settle a controversy. Today I'm tasting Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch B521. A lot of people said it was great, a lot of people said it was terrible. Which one is it for me? Let's find out. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Bourbon Hutch, and thanks so much for joining me on this journey through the world of whiskey. So today we are tasting a very divisive bottle, that is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch B5 21. So this was the May release, the middle year release from Elijah Craig Barrel Proof last year in 2021. They always do three releases each year, A, B, and C. This was the B release. And by all accounts, people loved it or they hated it and were very disappointed by it. So full disclaimer, this is my first bottle of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof that I've ever owned or tasted. So I don't have much to compare it to in terms of past bottles that were really spectacular or past bottles that sort of set the benchmark. So we're just gonna go into this, no real expectations and see what I think of it personally. So what exactly is the deal with Elijah Craig Barrel Proof? The specs on this bottle itself, this is 12 year old, non-chill filtered whiskey from Elijah Craig. Barrel strength, this particular batch was a low proof, which might contribute to a lot of the questions around it. And it's 118.2 proof, so 59.1% alcohol. This is the typical Elijah Craig mash bill, um, which is 78% corn, 12% rye, and 10% malted barley. It's just at least 12 years old, non-chill filtered, straight out of the barrel stuff. Elijah Craig barrel proof is right around $70 MSRP. Um, sometimes you see a little cheaper than that. It used to be 60 bucks. Sometimes you see it as high as 90, but it's by all accounts, each release of this is at least a really good value. 12 year old stuff, barrel strength stuff for right around 70 bucks if you can find it at that. And if you can find it at all, it is a little bit difficult to hunt down. Um, but at least there's three releases every year. So you have three chances every year to see one. All right, that's enough fanfare. I'm just as excited as you are to get into the nose palette and finish here and really experience an Elijah Craig barrel proof pour and see what I think of it. Before we get into it, I do just wanna say that if you're liking the videos, please smash that like button. If you like all the content coming out of the channel, hit that subscribe button. It really helps grow the channel and helps me know what kind of specific content to create for you guys. All right, let's get into it. So, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch B521 on the nose. Okay, so it's sweet up front, very sweet, but darker tones. So good vanilla sweetness, but a lot of like rich caramel. Definitely an oakiness to it, an oak sweetness and um, maybe a little oaky barrel spice astringency. Yeah, a lot of barrel spice coming through on this, barrel char. Good nose, not super powerful and not super complex, but inviting and rich and sweet and spicy. Okay, so let's get into the palate here. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Okay, so that is my first pour of whiskey for the day, but it's powerful. I mean, it's packed full of flavor. There's Great caramel and brown sugar in there. There's a little graham cracker note, which is really nice. But overall, the most dominant thing is that rich barrel char and oak spice. Um, and as it develops, there might be a little bit of like a um, dark chocolate and leather tobacco note kind of on the back end. So first impression is a rich, dark whiskey with clear presence of age. Nothing spectacularly complex, nothing super surprising, but a powerful quintessential bourbon experience with a lot of barrel char. Let's go back into the palate for another taste. Now that my you know, palate is a little acclimated, let's see if we can pick out some more flavors. Cheers, everybody. Okay, so that experience was very similar. Um, barrel char shines a lot on that. Good brown sugars, almost like a maple syrup kind of note. Lots of caramel. Um, 
and this oak spice that transitions into this like leathery tobacco we note on the back end. So nothing wrong with that, packed full of flavor. It is, I think the way I would describe it is very straightforward. It's just like in your face, barrel char and caramel and oak. Like it's a three or four note experience that carries through and lasts quite a long time, but it is not the most complex whiskey overall. So let's go back in one more time, take a sip and really focus on the finish as that develops and evaluate that. Cheers. Okay, so on that one, I picked up pretty much all the same notes. Um, got a little more graham cracker, got a little bit more vanilla sweetness overall, which is really nice. And underneath all that, I tasted a slight bit of nuttiness. Um, the finish, long lasting, clinging in the mouth for 118 proof. I know it's not 130 proof, but it is, it's got staying power. It's really sticking around for quite a long time with that sort of brown sugar, leather, tobacco note for me. Overall, I think it might also be one of the um, most barrel char heavy experiences I've ever had and not in a bad way just sort of the mid palate really explodes with this barrel char and oak spice that's really enjoyable. All right so let's just talk big picture here evaluate this bottle um, and maybe think through a little bit of why people see it so controversially. First off it's a great bottle of whiskey uh, for 70 bucks 12 year old barrel strength stuff it's really high quality stuff like I'm not disappointed at all. It's my first Elijah Craig barrel proof and I really enjoy it. Second thing I would say is that it's pretty straightforward. Um, it's got a decent amount of power, it's barrel char, caramel, spice, and not super complex, but you don't need every whiskey to be super complex. If it's got good flavors, three or four great flavors, and it's presenting them at a full force, that's a great whiskey in my mind. And then third, I would say a lot of people, I think, saw that 118.2 proof and there's a little bit of bias in their minds. They don't see that as true barrel strength. They don't see that as 130, 135, 140 even octane kind of bourbon that Elijah Craig Barrel Proof has released some stuff in the past that's been in that high 120s, even high 130s that's really knocked people's socks off. And this batch clearly wasn't designed to be like that. I think it's designed to be a little bit more approachable, but still hefty and rich and have really rich, good flavors. So final question is, is it Hutchworthy for this batch? Yes, absolutely for 70, I got it for 75 bucks. Totally worth having on the shelf. Kind of wish I had a backup bottle. If I had that chance, I probably would have grabbed one, um, but totally looking forward to exploring more of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof because this sets a really nice bar. I know that they can probably reach a little bit higher and really knock my socks off, but this is just really quality, great whiskey to start off with. So I think that about wraps up everything I have to say about Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch B521. In some sense, I'm kind of happy that people bashed it a little bit because that made it available for me to go out and get. But more than that, I would say it's just really solid whiskey. And if we're setting our expectations this high, super high for every Elijah Craig Barrel Proof release, we might be a little bit disappointed. But if we know that we're going to get quality whiskey, we go in trying to enjoy it then we're gonna be satisfied pretty much every time, I think. And I know for one, I can't wait to see what else Elijah Craig Barrel Proof has to offer. So until I see you guys again for another video, all I can say is keep drinking good whiskey and cheers.